I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Winter Haven. I'm Viviana, and you're watching BDTV for Wednesday, November 15th, 2023. This QR code is the school's new way to report bullying. If you see something, report it here. Coming up on today's show is recycling and Thanksgiving. I'm Parker. And I'm Colin. Let's get into the announcements. Students, remember to check your email every day. You may receive important news through your school email. The November Scholarship Bulletin is out. Seniors, report all scholarship offers to Mrs. Bachman, whether you plan to accept them or not. There are volunteer opportunities on the Guidance Department's Community Service Bulletin Board. Check these out for service hours. Graduation will be held Wednesday, May 22nd at 5 p.m. at the RP Funding Center. Hulk to the Hills is today, November 15th at 6 p.m. at the address below. This event is, is sponsored by the Polk County Alumni Chapter and supports TCPS Reach Higher Polk. Can't wait to see you all there. Hey, Thanksgiving break is next week. This means no school, good food, football games, shopping, and a bunch of free time. But with all this free time, one of the best things you can do is read. Look at all these books. There's any genre that you can imagine. Mystery, romance, comedy, fantasy, and many more. So you're sure to find a book that you're gonna love. But before you leave for break, don't forget to stop by the Media Center to check out a book or two. All you need is your ID and a pass. And if you have any questions, just ask Ms. Moore. I'm Viviana with BDTV, and come check out a book before you leave for break. Wow, I'm gonna check out some free books. This weekend, our debate team traveled to Orlando to participate in the FCDI National Civics and Debate Championship. Thank you to all the amazing staff and their families who attended and judged over the long weekend. Congratulations to Arsha Kamis, who placed 21st in the congressional debate over 400 debaters. We are selling Blue Devil Nation shirts and hoodies to help raise money for boys and girls weightlifting. We are trying to raise money for new racks to upgrade the weight room, which is open to all students playing sports or take the weightlifting PE class. The shop is currently open until tomorrow, November 16th. Scan this QR code to order a shirt or hoodie. Thank you to all of those who came out to Chorus Veterans Concert. It was a great time. A special thank you to Mr. Fritz and his crew for ensuring everything ran smoothly behind the scenes. Congratulations to Anthony Montelione, who placed second this weekend in the Gulf State Championship. Congratulations to our male mixed Raiders team who competed at a district competition this weekend at Tenera. They placed in every event in overall first place. This means they'll be heading to state. Congrats. I bet our Raiders are excited for Thanksgiving. While most of us, including myself, love Thanksgiving for the treats and the food we get to eat, it's about much more than that. It's about spreading love and spreading thanks. The first ever Thanksgiving was in 1621. I'm Gishon BDTV. Let's go learn more about Thanksgiving, Winter Haven. What do you think is the most important part of Thanksgiving? The uh, biggest part of Thanksgiving, the most important part uh, to me would probably be family. That's probably the biggest one to be able to spend time with family, being thankful for uh, having the family around, all the food and everything like that, being able to spend time with everybody that you love. So that's, a, that's the biggest thing to me. Can I give you a history lesson real quick? Okay, so over 400 years ago, on September 6th, 1620, the pilgrims decided to leave England and search for religious freedom. On this voyage, they took the Mayflower. But on the trip, there was many issues. Many were sick and there was a shortage of food. When they arrived to America, they found that there was already Native Indians already living in the area. But it turns out these Native Indians were friendly and they helped them find food and build shelter. After this, the pilgrims found their first harvest and the harvest was very plentiful. To celebrate this harvest, they decided to invite the Indians and have a feast with them. And now, because of this, every year in America, we celebrate Thanksgiving. What is one of your family's Thanksgiving traditions? 
Um, we go to my grandma's house, like our whole family, and we get together and we eat and just talk about like old memories, I guess, and stuff. Every year for Thanksgiving, we go down to Miami because we have like a bunch of family there and we just eat good, you know, uh, talk with friends, all that, so, and just have a good time. We just go to our grandma's crib and eat food. Uh, we go to my grandma's house, she make a big meal, and we chow down. This year, Thanksgiving lands on November 23rd. I'm going to get you on BDTV. Make sure y'all are spreading love and thanks for me. I'm even more excited for Thanksgiving now. The athletic events for this week are, today, a girls weightlifting meet at 4 o'clock at home and boys soccer at 6.30 for JV and 8 o'clock for varsity at Lake Wales. Tomorrow, girls JV soccer has a game at 6.30, varsity at 8 at Ridge Community High School. There will also be a girls preseason game at Lakewood. The time is to be assigned. Friday the 17th, boys JV soccer will have a game at 6.30 and varsity at 8 at Simmers Young. And on Friday and Saturday, boys basketballs will be playing in the Jacksonville Tip-Off Classic. The time is to be assigned. Good luck to all our teams. GSA is partnering with PCSB's Castle Project to collect toys for students in need. We are asking for gender-neutral toys to be donated. Drop-off locations include Miss Carpenter's Office 33125, Building 34 Office, or you can email Miss Carpenter and a student will come and collect your items. Share this info, info with friends, family, and members of the community. They can email Ms. Carpenter if they'd like to donate. Congratulations to Isaac Salazar on his commitment to Yale. Also congratulations to Jamie Phillips on his commitment to Stetson. Last Wednesday, Key Club celebrated diversity by inviting Culture Connection Club to inform its members on the importance of being aware culturally. This week, we are celebrating Reach Hire Week. They, this annual week of activities is to promote college and career awareness and readiness. You must sign up with Mrs. Bachman for the college visits. Make sure to participate in the t-shirt days as well. I'm sure colleges appreciate recycling. Did you know, today, November 15th, is National America Recycles Day? This day is celebrated to raise awareness for recycling and how important it is. Did you know enough water bottles are discarded every year to go around the planet four times? I'm Kelly with BDTV. Let's go find out the importance of recycling. Why is it important to recycle? Well, we've got a limited number of resources here on the planet, and so rather than us continuing to have to dig things up, if we can recycle things to be able to pull them out and then be able to reuse them, it'll help us to preserve the planet and pre prevent us from digging everything up. What do you recycle? Water. Yeah, I be hooping a little bit, doing my little one, two, one, two, so I like to shoot paper balls in the track in. Uh, water bottles. We recycle plastic bottles, we keep plastic bags in our house, and cans. When does your recycling get picked up? My recycling gets picked up on a Thursday. I don't know. But I would say Thursday. It normally gets picked up on a Sunday. Some benefits of recycling are that it prevents the amount of waste sent to landfills, conserves energy and natural resources, and prevents pollution. It's important to help save your environment and start recycling if you don't already. I'm Kelly with BDTV. Reduce, reuse, and recycle Winter Haven. Recycling is a really important thing to do. Please bring in non-perishable items to your fifth period teacher for a chance to win a pizza party. You're welcome to bring in these items until we leave for fall break on the 17th. Tomorrow will be a Friendsgiving chapter meeting from FFA from 2 to 4. Students may bring in desserts and chips and all other food will be provided. Culver's is partnering with Winter Haven FFA as our sponsor for Concrete for a Cause. Every medium concrete sold, there will be a dollar donated to our FFA program. Get a concrete today through Friday. That's all we have for you today, Winter Haven. I'm Carly with BDTV and have a great day.